In League of Legends, the Mana Moon is an item that grants attack damage based on how much maximum mana a champion has. On today's episode of Volmath, we'll be taking a look at how much mana is required for a Mana Moon to be more cost effective than other attack damage boosting items. First, let's take a look at the Mana Moon's stats and effects. A Mana Moon costs 2,110 gold and grants 20 attack damage, 350 mana, and 7 mana regeneration on purchase. It will also grant attack damage equal to 2% of a champion's maximum mana. This effect will not stack with multiple Mana Moons. A good benchmark to remember regarding this effect is that for every 50 maximum mana, the Mana Moon will grant an additional 1 attack damage. Also remember that the Mana Moon will grant other amounts of attack damage even if the amount granted is not an integer. Since the Mana Moon grants 350 mana on purchase, we can essentially say that it also grants 7 extra attack damage due to the previous effect. The Mana Moon also allows a champion to gain bonus mana, up to an additional 1000 mana. On hit, the Mana Moon grants an additional 1 mana, and on cast, the Mana Moon grants an additional 4 mana. This effect will not stack with multiple Mana Moons. When we attempt to find the cost effectiveness of the Mana Moon, we'll be using two different calculations. The first calculation will take all the Mana Moon stats into account, and the second calculation will only take the Mana Moon's attack damage into account, including the attack damage granted from the Mana Moon's unique effect. However, when calculating the cost of a Mana Moon's attack damage, we need to determine which champion is buying the Mana Moon since 2% of their maximum mana will be granted as a bonus attack damage. We'll assume that the Mana Moon is being purchased by Urgot, since Urgot's abilities deal physical damage and are used very frequently, thus requiring large amounts of mana. We'll also assume that Urgot is level 9, since a Mana Moon requires 2,110 gold, which usually isn't achieved until champions have reached around that level. At this stage of the game, not taking other items, masteries, or runes into account, Urgot has 715 mana. Because of this, the Mana Moon grants 14.3 bonus attack damage based on Urgot's mana, for a total of 41.3 attack damage. Although, since the items we'll be comparing to the Mana Moon don't have any mana or mana regeneration, we'll have to use other items to reference the cost of that stat. At the cheapest level, a Sapphire Crystal grants 1 mana for every 2 gold, and a Fairy's Charm grants 1 mana regeneration for every 60 gold. With these stats in mind, in the first comparison, we see that 1,120 gold is spent on the Mana Moon's mana and mana regeneration. In our first comparison, which takes mana and mana regeneration into account, we see that in this example, a Mana Moon grants 1 attack damage for every 23.97 gold. In our second comparison, which only takes the attack damage into account, we see that a Mana Moon grants 1 attack damage for every 51.09 gold. Now that we have base values to work with, let's see how cost effective the Mana Moon is when compared to other items. A Long Sword grants 1 attack damage for every 41.5 gold. In our first example, we see that the Mana Moon is actually more cost effective than a Long Sword. However, in our second example, a Mana Moon will become more cost effective with 478 additional mana. A Pickaxe grants 1 attack damage for every 39 gold. In our first example, we see that a Mana Moon is still more cost effective. However, in our second example, a Mana Moon will become more cost effective with 641 additional mana. And finally, a BF Sword grants 1 attack damage for every 36.67 gold. In our first example, we see that the Mana Moon is more cost effective. However, in our second example, a Mana Moon will become more cost effective with 813 additional mana. It can be concluded from these results that the Mana Moon can be a very cost-effective item if one is very mana-hungry and is not that concerned about damage output. However, many champions who rely heavily on dealing damage will find that a Mana Moon is lackluster when compared to other items, at least until the champion reaches large amounts of mana. Thanks for watching this episode of Law Math. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you'd like to be informed whenever I release new videos. If you have any comments, questions, feedback, or ideas for future episodes of Law Math, feel free to post in the comments section underneath this video. Also, check out the previous Lawmath video by clicking the annotation on the screen. Thanks for watching.